Alright. How you doing? So, a little message for those guys out there, okay? Take care of your women, man. You know? I'm just saying. I keep saying it over and over and over and over again, especially these young people. We're gonna live forever. Hill, yep. we're gonna live forever. Did you know that? Did you know that, George? Did you know we were gonna live for a long, long time? And we're gonna just take our girlfriends and we're just gonna go home and say, hey, baby, I'm, I'm cool. I'm gonna hang out with my friends. I don't wanna hang out with you. No, no, don't do that. Okay, I'm not making fun of nobody, I'm just saying. When you lose somebody that's so close to you, that's so close and precious, you know, it's not like a grandpa, it's not like a grandma, it's not like a sister, it's not like a brother, it's not like a baby, everybody's different. Joking aside, I'm, I'm getting judged right now because the new woman in my life I'm doing things for her that I never did for my late wife, all right? You don't think that uh, us men that had women, either they're gonna go one way or they're gonna go the other. You see what I'm saying? You're gonna go better, you're gonna go the worse. You try staying in the middle, and what happens? You stay the same. No, you change, man. Change. These young pups don't get it. They're not gonna get it because they haven't lived a life. I'm 50 years old. I'm almost done. Realistically, I'm almost done. Well, you live to be 76? So I got 26 years left, if that. I'm telling you, I got a second chance to a beautiful and lovely woman. Yeah, we butt heads. We get a little step outs and stuff, but we get done. We give a big hug to each other, and we we love each other. We say we're sorry. I go to work. I'm working with teens, and they they all think they know everything. But when you got Lord Jesus Christ in your heart, you know what you're gonna do. Because nothing can take that away. Nothing. Love everybody. Stop the hate. Stop the racism. Stop all the stuff that's bad. The media wants to sell it. Don't listen to them. Watch the weather and move on. Love thy neighbor. Anyways, I just want to put a little message in there. This is to Clara, my beautiful wife. She's at work. She's working overtime. We're not young kids. We know what's going on. She lost her husband. I lost my wife. We've got a new life to start together. God's gave us that. I walk home two miles every day from work. I get up at 4.30 every morning. Guess what I'm doing? I'm cleaning the house. I make the bed before I leave. I make her lunch, okay? I let her sleep. I let her watch whatever she wants, even if it's a million times. Because I love her. That's true love. Regardless. I stay with my late wife until she passed away. For, for 15 years I took care of her. And the regrets is, is your children doesn't understand things. They don't see the things that you went through. There's a lot of people going through this. Maybe somebody's got a new relationship with a loved one that didn't pass away. They're not accepting her or him. If they could only know the short time we have here. The bigger picture. I walk two miles home every day though. I work six and a half, seven hours a day. 88 degrees, in the rain. I don't care, I smile. Then I ask, baby, I cleaned, I swept the whole house. I did all the dishes. I put all the dishes away, I'm not gloating. I'm saying, do things for them. Look, look what I'm making for her. Let me flip this camera. Oops, they won't flip. Okay, look what I'm making for you. You know what this is? You know what this is? 
Huh? She asked her, you, what do you want for dinner? I said, I'll make it for you. Because that's what love is. Love's not just having sex and then drinking and partying. When you get older, you see things a lot different. Yes, making a very nice dinner for them. We got some peas here, that's what you wanted. See what they want. See what they want, make, make it for them, love them. Still puts tears in my eyes. That God gave me a woman to be with the rest of my life. Kids don't understand that. They don't. They're young. It's not tears of sadness. It's tears of joy. The Lord provided me for that. And nobody will ever take that away from me. Soon we will be, we are married in the Lord's eyes. She should have my last name. I'm just putting this out here, guys, because you don't understand. If a woman has a man that's going through the same thing, you understand. You've already been through this stuff. Claire was alone for 11 years. Personally, if I was alone for 11 years, you know, she went on dates and stuff. I don't think that after that I, I could be with anybody. And there's a lot of girls that couldn't go out with another guy because they had the love of their life. You only hear once, my friends. All I'm saying is, if you got a spouse, even if you got children, hug them and tell them you love them every day. Show them support. No matter what kind of day you're having, don't yell and scream at them. Don't. Love them. Give them a big hug and tell them you love them. I just want to share this today because I'm not gloating. You'll have a special feeling in your heart if you do this. Trust me. God loves all of you. And I love you, Clara. God bless.